$1.9 trillion. $1.9 trillion. I'm not talking about Sean Hannity's salary. I am talking <laughs> free, basic cable, whatever you want. Uh, I am talking about the money it costs in, in new federal regulations for, for all types of businesses. That dwarfs whatever they're paying in taxes. Think of that. Small business panel here to, to, to look at how that's factoring out here. Not well, I might remind you. Susan Solovic is here, Butch and Ali here, and Zane Tankel. Uh, you know, we talked for years on this very subject, but you and I were chatting briefly, Susan, during the break. This is not a new trend. Um, 114 laws were enacted last year, over 3,400 rules issued by 60 federal agencies, and a trend that has been sustained and picked up steam in this administration, but through Republican and Democratic administrations alike. Well, I think that the bottom line is you've got to have some regulation, but it has been accelerating. And this past eight years with this administration, it's been an era of hyper-regulation. And you can see the results. It was hypering, too, during Bush, right? Well, it, not as bad, not nearly Around as 63 bad. 63 with them every year, right? 80 some odd with this guy. You can see the effects of this because for the first time since the Census Bureau has been tracking the data in 30 years, we have more small business closures than startups by about 100,000 annually. Is that right? And that is a critical element of our economic recovery. If you don't get small businesses growing with confidence, this economy is not going to recover. You know, Zane, the argument with regulations is they make us safer and better, but I see regulations as like ties. You got a new one, take an old one out. Right. But they don't, they just pile them up. Yeah. Well, that's the reality. I think Susan made the point. Uh, but everything in balance. Regulations are, are important because it just can't be open free skyways on the one hand. On the other hand, the amount of encroachment, you know, we, as you well know, Neil, we have thousands of employees, and I can't tell you how many additional employees we've hired. Actually, they're helping the employment situation to do the administrative and the follow up right? and all the. Oh, and by the way, ignorance of the new regulation doesn't help you. No, it's not at you all. You violated it. You're done. And that's yeah. why you have to staff you have to staff for example on health care you have to sit down and we record it we hire an outside company and we record as we tell everybody all their options for health care so that someone doesn't make the claim that we didn't bring those Is that options. Right? oh yeah yeah what do you do? A I mean, for your business I mean, it's it, just for catering and everything else, there are and lots and lots of things you have to be aware of. We just said before, they didn't remove anything. They just added new regulations, right. and we can't carry anymore. We have to hire specialists just to explain to us what the regulations are, and if it even affects us. And if it so does, you would like a Donald Trump who's made this a signature issue? Of course. It, it, hopefully he stays strong on his issue and says, maybe cut some of this stuff out. Well, he's a business guy who says the regulations kill here. Well, kill by him. the same token, he's made proposals that you could argue would be against business, especially those that send jobs abroad. Yeah, but he also has a big workforce of his own. So he's going to also do what's best for Donald, which would probably be best for us as well because he's going to be in the same pool. Could I get your reaction to this? Donald Trump seems now to be changing his mind on, on hiking the minimum wage. This is what he told us when we had the FPN debate last, uh, earlier in the winter about this issue of the minimum wage. Take a look at this. Are you sympathetic to the protesters' cause since a $15 wage works out to about $31,000 a year? I can't be, Neil. I hate to say it, but we have to leave it the way it is. People have to go out, they have to work really hard, and they have to get into that upper stratum. But we cannot do this if we are going to compete with the rest of the world. We just can't do it. So do not raise the minimum wage. I would not raise the minimum. All right, then this in an interview on CNN. You can't live on $7.25 no. an hour. And I'm actually looking at that because I'm very different from most Republicans. I mean, you have to have something that you can live on. That's a reversal. It sounds like he's flip-flopping. He is a businessman, and I think he understands he's that like if, you, right, if, you, <laughs> if you raise that minimum wage, it will cost jobs. Plain and, and by the way, we should pause it here. Did not say bring it to $15. That it right. could no. and should be higher livable wage. That's always in the eye of the beholder. But do you think 
a flip-flop like that, or however you want to define it, he, he could say it, he's evolving on this subject, that that could hurt him, Zane? What do you think? Um, I'm, I hurt him in how? He's looking for votes, and he's running, and it's one well, thing to get to through the primary, obvious? and it's another thing to get yeah. vote forward. You can't, Neil, you know better than I, you can't legislate a minimum, a, right. not a minimum wage, a, a middle class. You can't legislate that. Yeah. Middle class comes from people getting jobs, and labor commands its own salary. If I need cooks and there's no cooks, I pay more for cooks till I get But you'd have to raise everybody's salary exactly. as a result. It comes from everybody getting jobs, working, exactly. legislating a minimum wage. Well, there is the power of the, the bully pulpit of the White House to do that. And if he, yeah. he, we must be fair to him here. He's not saying, you know, bring it to 15, but he is saying it should be higher. Mitt Romney had said it should be higher. Yeah. Where do you think it ultimately has to be? I mean, the starting wage for a young student or a first-time worker should be maybe nine, ten dollars an hour, where it is right now in New York State. But to start paying them fifteen dollars, who's going to ever hire a student again? Who's going to have these menial jobs, you know, the starting jobs? And and then everyone on up, you have yeah, to the fifteen dollar an hour right. person now is going to. I can't raise my food. It's a sixty percent raise from nine dollars to fifteen dollars. I can't raise my prices sixty percent. I'd be out of business. I'm done. You know, I just got a survey from uh, Capital One Spark Business Barometer, and con the small business confidence level has dropped almost ten points from this time last year. Wow. And one of the top concerns is this presidential election. I tell you, small businesses are worried. We cannot absorb any more of this. We're going to go the way of the dinosaurs. We're going to become extinct. And the entrepreneurial spirit in this country will be squashed if we have eight more years so really, of the Between the, the regulations policies. the taxes, Dana, you've done very well in an environment, no matter what, no matter the president, no matter the environment here. So maybe just you just need a savvy... But the majority business. of small well, businesses are I less than 20 employees. I understand. It, yeah. It's not even savvy, Neil, as much as uh, there has to be a balance. And I, I was talking to somebody only yesterday who told me he termed in the last six months 40 managers that made 50,000 or above in order to pay for other regs that have come in. Don't forget, you're talking federal regs. Here in New York, as well as other cities oh, and states, there's a whole, there's a, there's a whole sure. nother layer. There's uh, health code violations, there's a family Humming leave, yeah. there's... there's it, costs, it's, it's, it costs small businesses 36% more to comply with the regulations than it does a big business. You all Just agree like they're, 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 they're bigger issue to you than taxes. That's interesting. Well, of course. It's a tax. Yeah, yeah, it is a tax. I understand. It's a, right. It's a camouflage. And you've got the attitude yeah. to go with it. I mean, <laughs> we, we had Real quick. Year, we had this year, we had uh, sick one week sick leave for all hourly. Uh, one week sick leave is simply one week vacation. Yeah. Who, that's what it is. Who doesn't take right. their sick, sick leave? It's paid. Yeah. And, 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 and Hillary wants to have the Mandatory Family Leave Act. If you've got a small firm, let's say you've got 10 employees even, and you've got to give somebody 12 weeks off. If you have five employees. Part of the, yeah. We have it here what in New York What do you do? Now. What we do have you it here do? Here three months. You can't afford to bring somebody yeah. else in. It's ridiculous. It depends if you like the kids. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> it's a little joke. A very tacky joke there.